Good evening everyone and um, happy Tuesdays. Is it Tuesday? It is Tuesday. Well I was going to have a little break but obviously that didn't happen and uh, that's because of something we've been up to. So um, we'll run the titles and then I'll tell you. I did actually do a little bit of video in earlier on with the um, the nosy cam, the zoom cam, whatever you like to call it, so it's not the best of quality, but um, it's just because we were sorting out the boat, prepping it for the the boat safety scheme thing. So uh, we've, we've given it a good old scrub, we've done the uh, cleaned all the solars again, because to be honest with you, our solar energy had come right down, because the trees that are up here, they've been they've been having sex I think or whatever it's called they've been pollinating everywhere and all that's happened is our boat's been covered in this green nastiness so I've scrubbed all that off today and uh, but that wasn't the main thing I say I am I must admit I am a little bit worried about the boat safety scheme thing perhaps that's why I haven't been sleeping um, so we had, we had, did a naughty thing with the battery because we had an extra battery put on when we had the back deck done and of course it's supposed to really be in a box but I never put it in a box because it was just a hassle. So I left it and now obviously I've had to take it off today because of the, so don't tell anyone that. So I've taken that off and put it in my car for now until they've inspected it and then, you know, and I put it back on again, innit? And um, there's been other things. I had to tidy up some wiring underneath the back deck. Um, in the bow, or sorry, yeah, in the, in the pointy end, the bow, um, we've taken everything out there because hopefully it's tomorrow or Thursday that we're having the bubble test to put in. And um, I've had to do a couple of other bits in there, so I've had to. We have to have a. We have to have a metal sign saying isolation below, or gas isolation below, or some bollocks like that. What a load of old shit. And uh, also, I've now reinstated the tunnel light because I took that off. So I've got to wire that up. Probably do that this evening. But it's all back on there and everything. Um, a few other bits and bobs we've done. But um, there's something else. There's something else. We might have to get Rat Cam back out. Because let me show you something. Well, shall I show you it now? No, let's just show the stuff I did with the Zoom Cam or the Nosy Parker Cam earlier. And then we'll go and uh, I'll go and show you something that's happened. Bye. We've been jet washing Hannah. So we're still trying to get ready for our boat safety bollocks upon figure doo -dah. So I really just wanted to do the back decks so that I can get the engine covers off and have a little luck under there. So I thought I might as well just clean the whole balloon boat. And then Lee's obviously got involved as well. We've emptied out the front and now the water holes are about a foot away from the water line. <laughs> Not really, they used to be right on the water line. But now they're um, probably about four inches, three or four inches away from the water now. So there's a lesson, don't leave all that shit in the, in the front locker all the time. There's too much weight in there. No, no. I've been underneath everyone, taking out the battery. It should be in a box, so I thought, well, I'm just going to take it out. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. going to say, <laughs> They know we all close vents and put batteries where we shouldn't. Bye. Then look at this. What is this? Look, I'll try and keep out of this. 
in my shadow there. Can you see that? It's a trail of destruction. It looks like something's dug into the tree stump, which it has, look. If you look down there, I can't really see. Let me just try and bend the camera. Well, I might have to... Excuse me, I'm sorry, but uh, this is how I have to do it. Obviously something's going on in there. Not quite sure what. But then it comes out again, and obviously Hector's very interested in it. And it comes out somewhere over here. So Lee tells me, so look, we've got another hole. Well, let's get out of the shadow. And Hector's been obviously interested in this hole too. So, we think we have the ratage again, don't we Hector? So, I've relocated our rat cam, but unfortunately, as of this second right now, I don't have enough batteries for it because it takes eight AA batteries. So um, I'm going to put some on charge. I have got some old, they're a bit shit now, they're rechargeable batteries. We need to buy some more. But I've got some of those, so I'll uh, sort that out and then um, sort an SD card out and we'll try and get some over the next two or three days. See what happens. Bye. Good morning everyone and happy Wednesdays. I've just come out to um, have a little look down the gas locker because I thought it'd probably be a good idea for me to take a before and after video of how it looks because the regulator and that's being moved. So I'm going to stick this camera down the all and uh, see what we can get. I mean I can't really see what I'm doing with it so let's just hope it kind of looks right and I've got to put the hose away. Obviously I forgot to put that away last night and this ain't for you that you might not know. When uh, our water tanks are empty because we actually let it run completely dry um, yesterday. I knew that's what was going to happen um, because every now and again I like it completely drained. And then what I do probably once every six months I put a whole bottle of Milton, a litre down there and uh, then refill the water and that sterilises the whole system. So that's just to kind of keep it nice and, and clean but <laughs> the Lee had a shower this morning and all I could smell was some Milton stuff. It smells like a swimming pool. Anyway, I'm going down the hatch. See you in a minute. Well then, I'm doing this completely blind. But I think over there, hopefully you can see this, that's the regulator. But the bubble tester has to go between the regulator and where it goes into the boat. And there's no actual room there. So we think the regulator is going to be moved across somewhere over here. Probably to here somewhere. And uh, then the pipe work can go in. But we'll see. And here's me tunnel light. I still haven't wired it. Didn't get around to it last night. I was watching the football and that. And here's the silly sign we have to put on. To say the blooming isolations in the locker, which it always would be anyways. They're trying to make it retard proof, I think. Anyway. And in other news, I have got rat cam working again. So I charged some batteries up last night. Found an old SD card, formatted it all up and it seems to be working. So I shall um, bring it out here tonight and see what we can catch. Right, I'm going to get the hose up, reel it in, then I'm going to go and make myself a nice cup of coffee. Hector's still in bed, bye. Oh yeah, there's something else I've got to tell you. I'm uh, really, really excited because something might happen today that's going to change our lives. So I've got to make a phone call in a, in a few minutes and uh, see if this one gets sorted. But I'm not telling you what, I did let it slip a little bit on me wee last night, but um, <laughs> it's so exciting, I'll tell you, it's all too much, bye. All right then, let's make a phone call. I'll have to leave a message, I think. Welcome to the Tesco Mobile Voicemail Service. The person you're calling is unable to take your call. Please leave your message after the tone. To record your message again, press hash at any time. Hello Carl, my name's Paul Massey. Um, I was speaking to Ryan yesterday about the allotment plot next to his. Um, so I'll be obviously very interested in that if at all possible. Um, I'll leave my number which is... love to hear from you. Cheers, bye. Well, I let the chicken out the bag now, haven't I? So, you know what I was talking about. 
So um, I did just get a text message from Carl, and he says as soon as the tenant has left there, which could be a couple of weeks, uh, then he'll let me know. So that looks like it's all all right. But what I'm going to do now is I am going up to the allotment to meet Ryan. So I'll get to see what we're talking about. So it's just up the road in Gayton. Once I get, if I get myself a push bike, I could easy push bike it. So let's have a look, shall we? That'd be quite good, growing stuff, wouldn't it? In the apocalypse that's coming. <laughs> I tell you, I'm, I want to grow some Scotch bonnets, right? Car Carolina reapers. These are all peppers, by the way, chilli peppers. But also, I love radishes, so I want to grow some radishes. And, um, yeah. I think it's just a nice thing to do. Good to keep you fit as well, because we sometimes you just feel like you're stagnating a little bit. You know, okay, we go out for walks and that, but I don't really get enough exercise. So if I've got something like that to keep me busy and it being so close, then um, I think it's a good idea. I think it's a really good idea. Here we are then. It's a bit overgrown, <laughs> but nothing that a cultivator won't sort out. So apparently we can uh, hire them here or borrow them. So we could get this sorted out. I'm not sure that it's just one or two plots. There's a shed there, don't know what's gonna happen with that. But it's gonna keep us informed. So it'll be a couple of weeks anyway before we know exactly what's going on. And there's Ryan digging. <laughs> and there's Ben posing. <laughs> and the, now that you can hear Hector in the background, he's, I left him in the car and he's being a twat. Anyway, there you go then. Bye. There we are then. This is the allotments, all of it. I mean, yeah, that patch does need quite a lot of work, but hey, a bit of hard work never hurt anyone, did it? And Hector's been barking all the time that I've been up there talking to Ryan and Ben. And I met Carl, which is good. So he's going to keep me informed on what's going on. So let's keep fingers crossed for us and we might have a little plot in a couple of weeks. We'll see. Were you being a noisy dog? Were you being a noisy dog, Hector? Were you? We could hear you all the way over there. <laughs> you little bugger. Now look what I've got. Doesn't that look interesting? Dynamite Marmite with chilli. <laughs> I'm going to try this on my crackers with a bit of cheese in them and I'll let you know how I get on. It's a limited edition. Woohoo! Right then, what I'm going to do first, I'm just going to put a bit on a cracker on its own without any cheese, just to see how hot this is. I put, that's quite a generous bit. You'd have to put a lot of marmite on things. Oops, a daisy. There's a cracker broken. It's all right. Don't taste that much hot to me. Yeah, it's all right. I'll say, maybe I'm just immune to hot stuff because that just tastes like. Well, it's got a little kick to it, but it's still very marmitey. And I like marmites. That's okay. But yeah, that's all right. That'd be nice cooked in with some beans, I reckon. Bye. You've had the cheese, haven't you? He always hears me cutting the cheese. <laughs> Not that cutting the cheese. Huh? Right then. I've got rat cam set up, look. So hopefully I've done it right because it's been a while since I used it. And hopefully. Camera down there. Can we zoom in? Yeah, you can see. Well, this might be interesting, eh? We'll see you in the morning. Bye. Good morning, everyone. It's Thursday. Hannah's going in between half eight and nine o'clock to have her bubble tester. But the most important thing of, the, of today is rat cam, isn't it? So let's retrieve it. 
And there it is for you. I think we haven't seen it before. And uh, it's not a bad day to start off with, is it? Not a bad day. It's going to rain later, though. Anyway, going back in the boat. Got things to sort out before we go. Uh, before Hannah goes into the workshop, got to sort out turning stuff off and all that sort of stuff. I'm doing and oh, I don't know. Bye. She's in the tunnel, everyone. And poor old Ian has uh, got his butt in the air in the front. <laughs> right then, it's lunch time. We're about halfway through, I think. Let's have a little look down the aisle, shall we? Go there. Stay there, Hector. There you go, see the regular has been moved to the middle. The bubble testery thing there. And there we go. Well, I'll tell you what, everyone, you can stick this yin and yang bollocks right up your arse. I'll tell you. The yin. Is the yin the good thing? There's a yin and a yang, a good and a bad. But anyway, the yin. All the gas stuff has been sorted out. Um, all works fine. Bubble tester works fine. We've got a little bit of water in our gas system, which has to be sorted at some point. But it's, it's not. It's only an advisory. And uh, everything's good on the gas front, I say. So, which is a relief for our BSS. Now, the Yang it was on inverter today and um, it's been making a few funny noises every now and again. I've not really been understanding what's been going on with it. It's beep, been beeping. It's, got, it's not a great one. It's a Sterling 1600. Just, just an inverter, not an inverter charger. And uh, over winter it's done a few weird things. It started making some odd noises. And then today we obviously turned it on without, because there's no power. And oh my god, it made a hell of a noise this morning, first thing. Then I watched the um, charging, or the battery voltage. It started off at 13.7, I believe. And then it went down to 11.7. And I was also watching it, because obviously you have that on your inverter. I'm sorry, if I, I'm sorry if people who don't understand what the hell I'm on about. On the inverter itself, which is what changes 12 volt to 240 volt, obviously your batteries sit at a certain voltage. And uh, 
between our solar, because I can monitor our solar MM, MPPT thing, tells me what the voltage is, and so does the Stirling inverter. And they were tallying up, so it was correct. The readings were correct, I believe. So yeah, so it started off at 13.7 or so, dropped down to 11.7, I believe. So 11.7, 11.8. And then it kind of crept back up again and it was doing some odd things I thought well and then it sat down Wee! and making odd weird whirry noises and then about an hour or so later I had to go Wee! when I was in, in the lounge here and um, dead no electric at all which is unusual because I mean we've I mean you know we have used it a lot I'll say that and um, although we've always turned it off at night because it makes bloody stupid noises so yeah, the crux of it, the matter, the crux of the matter is it seems like our inverter has now said nye, 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 bye bye. So that means a new one, and I won't be buying another Sterling one. It's, it seems pointless. So what I'm going to do, we've had a little look and a little chat today. Not quite sure how we're going to do this, but we're going to get a Victron charger and inverter combi thing, a two kilowatt one, and that. Plus the fitting is probably going to cost us between 16 and 1800 quid, I guess. So yeah, that's not good, is it? It's just not good. So there you go, yin and yang, stick that up your ass, bye. Good morning, everyone. It's Friday, and I just had a lovely shower. We got this new shower gel, Radox Invigorating or something. Now, because it's all nice and fruity, I smell like one of them there tin tangerines. Do you remember them? Little tangerine, little can, didn't you? Get little tangerine segments. <laughs> anyway, you're never going to guess what. Can you, are you guessing or what? We have been absolutely invaded by caterpillars. Seriously, we'll go and have a look. Hope you're ready for this, it's quite shocking. Not just one, we're talking hundreds, maybe thousands. Look at them all. What a bloody mess they're making, oh look. Look, look at the grass, there's thousands of them. And obviously, now a nice clean boat, it's now an absolute mess. I'm gonna have to clean the solar panels again or else we won't get any sunshine. Not that there's any sunshine today, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Flipping it, okay? And it's that bugger of a tree that's done it. So we've got thousands more to come off. <sighs> it's all too much, bye. I think what makes it worse is when it rains, because all the yellow stuff kind of comes out. I don't know if you can just see that there. I don't know if I'm pointing in the right direction. But a whole boat gets covered in that. So I think I'm going to go to B&Q and get a brush, because our, our broom died basically it was used so much it wore out or so yeah we need a little broom so at least i can get rid of some of them that's going to need another wash but it seems pointless when the tree is full of them anyway there we go i'm going back and i'm going to have a nice cup of coffee and i'm lovely and clean shaven bye <laughs> i'll tell you it's a bit strange being this way round. oh i'm just looking outside and the, the bin lid has come off so i've got to go and sort that be back in a minute flip's sake i don't know it's all too much right then where was I? Now I've put the bin lid back on. Yes, it's different when you're this way around, obviously. So it is nice sitting the other way around, looking out onto the marina, looking onto the boats and some of the wildlife. But you kind of don't see what's going on on the marina then, if you know what I mean. So it's, it's, it's interesting being this way around again, because we haven't been this way around for ages. Because most people, we just park with our bums into the, into the marina rather than out, if you get what I mean. So yeah, but so you notice some things as well when you're here. You notice how we've got a, a little marina road here, which is the access to the car parks and stuff. And it's, it's gravel. So it's, you know, you don't want to be hammering along there because it throws all the stones up, you see. And then when you throw the stones up, they go on the grass. And when they go on the grass, lawnmower man obviously hits them with his lawnmower and they fly off and they hit our boat. Now we've got a few dings in our boat from lawnmower man. And the only way it wasn't, I don't, I don't think it's lawnmower man's fault. It's people flying along the road's fault. And I've noticed that the last, well, the last couple of days we've been here, today and yesterday, how far some people go along here. And it's, it's a bit concerning. I know, I mean, it sounds like I'm having a, a little bitch, doesn't it? But, but it is the truth. And there's one person in particular in a little blooming corsa. Oh, oh, did I assume a gender there? Yeah, <laughs> I'll tell you what, people on the marina who have just heard me say that, who watched us, will know exactly who I mean. 
she absolutely flies along here sometimes and okay you know we can all go a little bit faster than the five mile an hour speed limit my car doesn't like going that but shit she's doing it feels when i'm watching it looks more like 20 or 30 mile an hour but anyway what i worry about is what if hector got out what if hector got out of the back because he could get out of there and you know he's not on always not on his lead or we're not watching him and he wanders onto that road well she'll kill him simple as that he'll be dead or you know severely injured and put down or whatever now that's heartbreaking to think of that just because someone goes too fast along here it's a bit pathetic isn't it then of course we've got the lazy parkers <laughs> lazy parkers there's not nosy parkers lazy parkers who uh, obviously go up to the car park turn around and then just come and park outside their boats and you're thinking what because all the winter morers, a lot of the winter morers now gone, so there's a lot more space here. So there's no reason why you can't park in the car park and then walk the whole, you know, 100 metres to your boat. Now, I know everyone, every now and again, you're going to park outside your boat because you want to unload, or it's late, or it's raining, I get that. But when they're doing it every day and just sitting here and blocking the view with just cars, you think, I mean, I must admit, I do think you're lazy twats. You know, it's just a shame. I don't, I don't, I don't, is it just laziness? Or am I just really being too moany now? I'll tell you what, although that, this isn't a proper rant, is it? You know, this isn't a normal rant. I, I don't think I've had a rant for the last two vlogs, have I? God, I'm going to get a reputation for being too namby-pamby. Uh, not having a moan. I'll tell you, no swearing, for fuck's sake. I have to be careful this weekend, actually, because, um, so I can't be doing too much swearing, or I've got, I've got to be, well, I'm not allowed to swear, and certainly not any bad words, because we've got Connor. So Connor's coming up this evening, uh, Lee's bringing him home uh, and then he's staying tonight, Saturday, Sunday and then Monday, because it's bank holiday Monday, uh, he'll be going back. So he's here for three nights. So that means I've demoted to the blooming sofa, didn't it? Although Hector will be happy about that. He likes it when we sleep on the sofa, although he sleeps on the bloody main bed most of the time. Anyway, little bugger. I'll tell you what, he had enough wormed his way into our lives. Let me tell you that for nothing. So yeah, so I suppose that's about it for now. It's lunchtime, so I suppose I better go make myself something to eat. I don't know what I'm going to have. Mm, really don't know what to have. Anyway, I'm sure you don't care about that. I'll speak to you in a bit, boy. Right then, I've done my chores, taken the rubbish down, done the washing up, had a little bit of a clean up in there, and I've hosed the boat down again because those catkins just stain it. So have a look around. Look. Looks better, doesn't it? And all off the roof, pretty much off the solars, which is more important. It's because of all that yellow stuff, they sort of deposit on there. I've had to try and, well, I haven't scrubbed it, but I've kind of hard washed it with the hose. That's about the best I can do, but it's getting windy again. So I guess we'll wake up in the morning and the boat will be covered in catkins. What can you do? Anyway, I watched Grand Prix qualifying as well this morning. That's weird watching it on a Friday, isn't it? That's, it's because of one of them new, one of them there sprint things this weekend. So they've changed the format, so. But anyway, I'll see you in a bit, bye. Well, I think our half hour's just about up, innit? So I guess there's only one thing, really, innit? It must be, um, Paulus Wood Gnome says it's beer o'clock. It's Friday, woohoo! Anyway, thank you all for watching. You know we all love you and all that sort of stuff. Um, if you enjoyed this video, do me the old thumbs up -y thing. Apparently it helps. I've got no idea how it helps. We'll do a down one twice. And um, follow us on Twitter. Oh, the, oh, just a last thing, actually, about Twitter. Um, we, but there's something going on with our Twitter, because our, our Twitter was the Vlog Couple UK. And then somehow we changed it to Vlog Couple UK because we got banned for absolutely nothing. And then it seemed like that one got banned, but it didn't, because it still worked on the phones, and then it sort of rectified itself. So our actual Twitter is at Vlog Couple UK. And I'm actually going to start using that as my personal twitter i think so everything you see on the vlogs the lifestyle thing i won't be afraid to say on twitter either and i probably say a lot more on twitter so yeah and again thank you for everyone who's uh give us your support on buy me a coffee and all that sort of stuff you're wonderful people honestly and everyone who comments on these videos we really enjoy the interaction so yeah so have a brilliant weekend brilliant week ahead and we will see you in the next one bye